Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Heroes in Crisis. So let's start talking about this issue. A lot happens here, and uh, this is an event I was really excited for. I'm a huge Tom King fan, and I really like stories that focus on psychological aspects of characters, and here we get to see trauma within superheroes, something that's not really focused on as much for these characters. So. What happens in the story, we get to see uh, flashbacks and the present. The flashbacks are interviews of heroes going into the sanctuary uh, where they're holding heroes dealing with trauma. So you have Roy Harper, you have Wally West, you have Booster Gold, Harley Quinn, uh, and you get to see interviews with them. Uh, but in the present, we see that uh, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman discover at Sanctuary, which they all helped create, uh, the heroes are dead. So spoiler alert! We see Wally and Roy dead. Oh, so I'll have to see where that goes. Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, and then in the end, Harley Quinn is fighting Booster Gold for some reason. And Harley says, I was not the villain of this story. You were. You killed them. So we'll have to see, is it true that Booster Gold killed them? What's going on here? Uh, so um, I thought this was a really solid first issue. Obviously it gave us just enough to talk about this event with the death of Wally and Roy. Do I believe Wally's dead? No, I really don't. They just had him return, and I know that's the aspect I think most people are going to be upset about, and Teen Titans fans in general are going to be upset about Wally and Roy. They really uh, tackled them. Uh, Roy, though, uh, he was on the lineup of someone being dead, and I think he is a character that makes a lot of sense to be killed off, because he's a character that's connected to a lot of people, but hasn't really been in a story in a while. Uh, so... I understand that. Uh, you know, I think he had the, the Red Hood and the Outlaws, you know, book before DC Rebirth, but he hadn't been in that. He was in Titans, but he's not in Titans anymore, so I can understand Roy actually being dead. I don't think Wally's actually dead. So I don't think people have to go up in arms with that one. And maybe Roy's not even dead, and it's actually some other character, and this is just a red herring. Uh, so, but that's the cool mystery that's building with this book, is that um, we don't know what's going on, and... Obviously, in, in my opinion, every good event book, and especially uh, a, a comic book story with a beginning, middle, and end, starts with a mystery, especially from DC Comics. Uh, one of my favorite events is Identity Crisis, and I mean, it's hard to compare this with Identity Crisis. I think Identity Crisis so far has done it better, because uh, it is a very similar story, dealing with trauma, dealing with secrets of superheroes, and a death. Uh, right now, I think Identity Crisis has done it better, but again, it's only the first issue of Heroes in Crisis. Uh, and also Watchmen. Where did that start out with was, of course, uh, a death. So I like the mystery uh, that's surrounding a couple of these deaths and like, what the hell happened? Who's the killer? And it's this interesting detective story, uh, which hopefully will dig deeper to the psychological aspect of the characters. You get a little bit with it, um, with the interviews, like Roy talking about his addiction, I thought was a really good scene. Uh, seeing Harley Quinn uh, actually talk about her medical background, which was cool. Uh, so we got a little bit of that. I didn't know how to feel about Harley here, though, because I felt like she kind of went off the rails very quickly. I didn't really get her motive, and, and hopefully as the series goes on, we understand her motive a little bit more, because she's become more of an anti-hero than villain. So we'll see where that goes. But I know she's kind of just thrown in there as a wrench, uh, and a, I guess a red herring, where it's like, oh, you think it's Harley who uh, killed them all, but it's probably Booster Gold. But you think it's Booster Gold, but it's probably someone else. So uh, I like the mystery that's uh, here, and uh, with Clay Mann doing the artwork here, I think the, the art is so good, and he obviously works very well with uh, Tom King. They've worked together in the past, and Tom King has a very cinematic mind, and you really get to see that, especially here with the documentary segments, and just the way that uh, these things are paneled. So I enjoyed that aspect of the comic as well. So overall, I'm going to give this a solid four stars. I thought it was a good start, and definitely got me hooked for the next issue, and I think it's going to be a conversation starter, which I feel is important with these events. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links to my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later.